Hi everyone, it's Susan again, and if you've watched any of my recent videos, I have done a lot of different things. So for instance, I showed you how to make and foil pieces of material so that you can have your own little um, tags. I've done a lot of foiling on different pieces of card. Uh, I, I was using scraps basically and I also showed how to do this pattern yourself and then foil it. Look how beautiful that turned out. So now the next step is, yes I'm using the scraps to foil them for my video. My problem now is I'm ending up with a lot of foil scraps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I've got three thank yous here. So I'm going to do three cards using pieces of scraps that I have in my stash. Okay. Oh, I could do four because I've got another text. I don't mind making little cards um, with thank you on because they are the ones that I tend to use when I'm um, when I go out. I leave them in my handbag. When I meet somebody who helps me with anything, I'll just take one out and inside it will have a message saying thank you for your help, thank you for the job you do, or something of the kind. So, to start with, I'm going to cut this piece. It's a very small piece of foiled card. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place my foil, my die on the foil, and I'm going to put place a bit of my Press and seal, there's always a bit around, press and seal onto it so it will not move. Just do it like so. And now press it on the die and outside of the die. Don't press it too hard on the inside. And then the next step I'm going to do is bring in my big shot. And I'm going to cut my die. Now these are very easy dies to cut, so I'm just going to place it there, put my plate on, and I'm going to go around and get it back again. And that should cut the design through there. And there you go. So now I've got a little topper that is made from a foiled design. Now, this part, I can't do anything with it, so I'm just going to put it in my side bin here. I've got a bag with all the bin pieces. Now, because this is like a rose gold, it's, it's a nice rosy color. It's very difficult to see on the camera. I've looked at my scraps and I found a bit of card that is a similar type of color. So I'm going to cut the next design up. I'm going to place that there. Don't need to move it. I'm just going to put it there. And I'm going to just cut it through. And that should have cut my bit off. And I can take this out of the way. I'm making some very simple, easy, quick cards to show you that what you do. You don't say, oh, I've done it. I'll leave it there for when the time comes. Because trust me, the time will never come. You need to sit there and say, look, I've got these pieces. I've got some scrap pieces. I'm going to make something with them. don't know yet what it's going to end up like because I have not planned. I don't do one and then show you how I did it. I tend to sit here, and as I enjoy making my own, I'll just record it just to inspire you. Because you might say, but if Susan doesn't show us how to do something, we're not going to have the idea of doing it. But if you see how I start thinking about things, you learn that whatever you have, you can then use and make something nice with it. Now, let's see how... Oh, look at that. So if I had something like thanks placed there, 
it's already beginning to look like a nice little card. Now what I'm going to get is a piece of my a piece of card and that can be there. You can have things that are there and things underneath it. So it's entirely up to you. That doesn't show. Let's see how that shows. That shows quite nicely on there. Or I can have that one. Let's see. I haven't yet made up my mind which one I would like best. I think that would look very nice. Another thing I could do is just cut one out of a piece of this or um this scrap card paper, whatever. I've got loads of it again. And I can do the same color to match. But I think if it's a little bit different, that would look quite nice. I can also have it at an angle. I'll just see how I'm going to do it. Now, another thing I like to do is I always, when I have time, because time is precious, and I don't always have the time, I cut some flowers. And I tend to do that. So that's when I decide I want to have a flower or two, I've got them ready cut and they're in a pack. So I'm going to look for some purpley pink ones to match my design. And here they are. I can take them out. And I can easily just see how it would fit if I did something like so. And maybe one of the other ones. Let's have a look. A lighter color. So I could have three flowers placed somewhere there. Now that's entirely up to you. I mean, some, some people like them a little bit less. Um, how do I say? Uh, a little bit less. Decorative. Some people like them a bit simpler. So that's entirely up to um, you, how you would like to have that. So what I'm going to do is start placing things onto my design. Another idea could be instead of doing that, you could color inside your design. Now, I haven't done any coloring on a video yet, but you know what? They could be really nicely colored with pinks and where there's the leaves, you put a little bit of green. And I think they would look absolutely gorgeous as well. I'm going to leave this first one quite simple. Another thing I might want to do, I'm going to have a look, because when you look at things, that's when you start seeing what you got and how they fit in what you're doing. I could have a black in the background, the purple on top, and the black, I have already used a similar design and buzzed it, so it is uh, embossed. You see it embossed on the background? That can give it a really nice design. Another thing you can do to these, let me get something and I'll show you. I'm just gonna Come back in a second. Right, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this one. I brought in some Nouveau Opal Polish. Let's see if I can open them. I have not used these for a while. So I'm going to open that. And I'm going to put some on my finger, like so. And I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper I don't want to I'm just going to go like so I just want a little bit from there what I'm going to do is just make sure I don't have any blodges on and I'm going to touch it just like so I'm going to just touch the top part of the design and instead of it being all black can you see how it's all coming out? And it looks a lot. It shows the design through. Can you see how easy and nice? I mean, you don't have to do it. Uh, go very, very gentle. 
and try to touch as much as possible the top part of your embossed pieces. I mean, I'm just getting that. And if it goes ever, it doesn't matter. It's, some of it is going to be covered anyway. So what I really would like to be careful with is doing the outside, not the middle, because the middle is going to be hidden by that design that I just created. And my finger is really, really just kissing that paper. I'm trying not to touch the um, bottom part of the design. I'm only going over where the design is. Just giving it that lovely shade of color. And that looks, I mean, it's difficult to see it probably on there, but in my, on my desk in the light, that has now, from a piece of black scrap, I ended up, so I've got some places, yeah, I did touch it, but, you know, instead of just a piece of blank scrap paper, I gave it a little bit of more life. There's more life to it. So I've got some stuck on the edge. I'm going to just quickly clean that bit so it's close nicely again. I'll close it better when we finish, but I need to close it because this dries quickly, very quickly. So I've got that. I'm going to put some glue at the back. I just want to... I'm using glue. I'm not using... Um, double sided foam tape because my edge, white edge, the, the amount of this card is smaller than my actual card, it's so small. I need to be able to uh, have that little give and move it to see how it's going to fit on. So I'm going to place it there, like so. I'm going to pass it through. Now, I'm going to place that on top. And can you see now that design in the background is giving it such a nice um, lift. So that's done. I don't need those flowers now. All I need, and I'm going to do it as well, is if I'm going to put, let's say, that one on there, I'm going to take a little bit of this color again. If it doesn't work with this one, I'll do it with a different one, but it doesn't matter. And I'm going to pass it over the top where my text is. Just so that it will look a little bit like the back of it. Just going, there is what you can do, and I don't mind doing it. Because I just want a little bit more color on there. You've got this. You can wet it a little. I'm not going to go and wet it now. What I'm going to do is move this out of the way for a second. I'm going to take a little bit of that. Not much. And take this. And I'm going to go from there inwards like so. Once it's dried a little, I'll then place it on top. So that's got the same colors coming from the back on that black, although white and black will have a tiny different design. But can you see how that still looks nice? I've got the color to match. Now, for those of you that like using scraps, I always say when you cut tanks, when you cut sentiment, do them in white. Because if you do them in white card, I use it a lot for that, you can then color it to match anything you're doing, anything you're making. Okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fit this, actually this, I'm going to put it on some foam pads to give it a bit of lift. Let's do that. I'm 
I had a day off from any crafting today. Uh, what I mean is from any lessons I do today. And I decided if I do a few videos, everybody will be, I enjoy making them. And hopefully you enjoy learning something from it. So, again, all I've used pieces of scraps, although they're not that small scraps, but scrap paper that I'm left with when I do other cards or anything like that. I'm going to place that right at the top there. I've decided. Because there is enough design in there, and I want to keep that design in there. And then I'm going to place my thanks down below. And that is my first card. I like it. I hope you like it too. And to be honest, I've used scraps on it. I've used the pieces that were from a video teaching you how to do foiling. And I'll keep it in my handbook to give it to total strangers that help me out with anything whatsoever. One time, this is really funny. I went with my daughter. We had a visit at the hospital. And when we came to go into the lift, this gentleman opened the lift and held it for everyone. He then said, jokingly, Oh, I said, you all give me a pound now and I will become rich. I'll be holding the door for everyone. So I turned around. I said, I haven't got a pound on me because I don't carry cash. I said, but I've got something I can give you. I opened my handbag and came up with this envelope. And there was a thank you card in it. And he, he smiled. He said, you sure? I said, yeah. I said, you have that. I said, I've made it for you. And he was, I said, that made my day. I thought, yeah, and you're holding the door for everyone made our day as well. So there you go. Little card saying thanks. Ready to be taken. I'll do a message inside. I usually write something generic like thank you um, for seeing us or thank you for helping us out or uh, thank you for the job you do, that sort of thing. And then what happens is when somebody does something nice, I'll have one ready so here you go. I hope you like how that one turned out. Let me just put these on the side because I'm going to do some more. I haven't yet decided on the next one, but probably I'll do a yellow card this time again. So let's have a quick look and see what we have. Now, when I did this one, you see, I had a problem there. And you think, well, what am I going to do with that? Well, I'm not going to throw it away, that's for sure. So what am I going to do with it? Firstly, I'll see if I had tanks there, does it hide all my design? I had a bit of overfoiling underneath it as well. So this is what I'm planning to do. If we cut, that's too big, so it can't go on the background. Let's see, if I cut it, I'm going to cut it with my, do my die cut again, like so. If I cut it something like so on this one, because I want it to be like that, a little bit at an angle. So I'm going to place it there. I'm going to do it there, okay? And I'm going to Put my, because I want it exactly where it's standing, I'm going to put that on to hold it in place. Okay? So I'm going to cut that first. So let's get our die cutting. And again, it will be another thank you card. I go through them. It saves me, because I use the dies, I use the uh, scraps I have. And you know what? I get something out of it. I don't want to do things that don't end up being a small card ready-made. Because when I do things and I like them and I keep them there, it might be I've got boxes full of other stuff that stays there. So, I'm going to take that off. There you go. I've got my first bit done. Now, I'm going to find one of my DL cards, I think, if I've got any at hand. 
Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like, oh yes, I have some here, there. So that's the real card. I'm going to place that right at the top there. Okay. And then I'm going to get some flowers again. Now, I might go with the design up there because in my head, I know some flowers I've got that I think would look nice on that. So let me bring my box of flowers. I've got loads, look, loads of different things that I might want to use or can use on there. So let's have a look. I've got some lovely leaves. Oh, that's a nice one. So let's have a look at that one. Let's see how that would look and whether it hides that little error I've got on there with the four things. Because I don't throw things away just because. You know, let's have a look. I'm going to turn it around again. I'm going to place that one there. Oh, look at that. Now, for me, that's giving me a little bit of foiling in the background, which makes that look nice. I'm going to place that die, which goes from one side. So that goes in the center. Let's start one at a time. This, I'm going to stick right in the center of my card. I don't want it moving with my die. I'm going to place that one there. And more or less, that is in the right place. Now I've got this. What I did with this, and I might do a video on this particular die, because when I first bought it, when you cut the die, you get this. You see the edging? You get just the edging. And I didn't like that. So you see through. You would see the backing. But then I came up with an idea that if I cut just the outside, round the outside, of my printed flower rather than the dye, I'll end up and put it on top of it. And there you go. Look at that. Now, isn't that gorgeous? And you know what? It hid all my errors on that um, foiling. And the colors from the foiling match well with the colors on the dye. So I'm going to place that right on top. I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I say ladies first because I've got a group of classes and they're all ladies. And I'm so used to saying ladies. Oh, my goodness. I once was training some gentlemen and I nearly called them ladies. I can't specify who the gentlemen were, but the job they did, they definitely are not ladies. So let's have a look. So I'm going to place that. So that it will be on the edge side of this card, but not going over the edge on the other side. So something like so. Look at that. Now that I've made such a lovely little card already. And then all I'm going to do, now I might do a thanks. Actually, let's quickly make a thanks from this same thanks, uh, a thanks there that fits there. Look, but we do it from the same point. So, <coughs> excuse me, what I'm going to do is, again, just stop for a second. You won't notice. You just see that the page jump um, so that I'll get ready to do a thanks. Once I'm ready, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Right. So what I've done while I was off camera, I found a piece of foil that matches the foil I've used on here. I've placed it in my glimmer machine and waited for the machine to heat up. So you don't have to wait with me. Now I've pressed the button. I need to give it one minute to warm up. And once that's done, I'll show you what I'm going to do and how I'm going to finish this card. And so I'll keep the videos a little bit shorter. What I will do is I'll stop at the end of creating this card. And then I'll do some more when I do more cards. Um, I'll, I'll record some more ideas. Okay. So please, if you do like what I'm doing, do leave me a thumbs up. 
subscribe, comment. That will make me want to do some more and show you what you can do with the pieces that you enjoy making when you're trying out your foils and when you're having fun trying out your plate. And then you'll end up with all these pieces and think, well, they're all scraps. What am I going to do with them? That's what I'm trying to show you here, what you can do with what you have. Now that's done and it's soft, so I'm going to move it to the side to put some room for my big shot. To take my big shot piece out. And I'm going to place my glimmer plate into my big shot. And I'm going to go around very slowly because I don't want it. I want it to adhere very well to that piece of card I've placed in. Now that that's done, I'm going to put it back into here. Although I'm not doing any more straight away. I'm going to take that off and I'm going to switch my machine off. I don't really need to do any more for now. Okay. Now I've got a piece of foiled, it's like a mirror card, the same color as that foiling plate there is on my card, which is that one. Can you see there? Same foil. What I'm going to do with this, and I always do it this way. When I have a die that has the background on it, I just had it here ready to use, and I can't see where I put it. Here it is. I will cut the two together from one color. Let's do that first. I'll place it on there, cover it over, and I'll just cut it with my die cutting machine. That's done. That's one. I get a same design twice. And then I'll do it from a piece of white card I want to use. And I'm doing it the same shiny card like I've got up at the top, but from a photo paper. And that's going to give me two sentiments one color front white, uh, sorry. Color front white back and one back front and the opposite way around anyway. Let's see. Let me show you. So I've got that one, which is the background. And I got that background. I'll take all these pieces out. Now, I don't want white on white because that would not make any, any, it's not nice. It's nice, but it's not nice. I'm not doing a white on white card. So I've got these two pieces and I'll alternate them. So the background, I'll put the white one on. You see? And the white one, I'm putting the tanks on. I can throw that away. So it's a piece of white card and a piece of foiling. And I got what I wanted. Then I only have to decide which one I want to place on my card. So there are the two. Let's just stick them on together. I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I use tape on the other ones, but I'm going to do glue this time around. So just a tiny bit of glue. I'm just gluing it. I don't know whether I'm on the camera or whether you can see it or not. Just putting a little bit of glue on it. And I'm going to place it on the colored one. That's one. The other one, I'm going to put the glue on the word. 
again, like so. And I'm going to place it like so. Now, all I've got left, ready to, to do, is one thing. I need to decide which one I like best. So is it going to be thanks, like so? Or is it going to be thanks, like so? Don't know which one I like best. So you know what? I'm going to go for that one to give it a bit more color. And I'm going to stick that on using some of my double-sided foam pad. So one, whoa, there it goes. And one goes there. And that is another card made. Let's take this small one. From pieces of scraps. But if you see it, you think, oh, that is quite a nice. Thank you card. I'm sure the people I give them to are people I don't even know. So I think that this card would look absolutely gorgeous and somebody will be so happy to just receive it for, you know, whatever good deed they've done. So today we did two cards. That's one on a black background and that's one on a DL white background. Thank you for watching. If you did like my video, please do remember to click the subscribe, maybe even the um, the bell so that you know when I place more videos. Also, if you did like the video, please do leave me a thumbs up, maybe a comment, because I do appreciate them. And I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for um, being there with me. Bye for now.